then the interoperability and the standardization so here you can see now the projects which we will be doing that will be also have an mqtt that is the message queuing telemetry transfer it's written here you can see open standards it is a open source thing which we can use for our projects and the cop also that is the constraint application protocol that is web protocol for iot this is also one protocol which we will be using for the python projects we will use it in our projects so open standards are like the adaptation of the open standards and protocols such as the mqtt we will use it i am telling it again and again message queuing telemetry transport and coap that is simply the constraint application protocol promotes interoperability between different iot devices and platforms facilitating seamless integration and communication we will be having seamless integration then the middleware solutions so middleware platform act as intermediaries enabling uh, device iot uh, you can say the diverse sorry diverse iot that is the diverse internet of thing to communicate and work together efficiently <clears throat> regardless of the underlining technology so middleware solutions i have kept one image here for the middleware solutions also so here you can take a look at it that in the iot middleware so when i am talking about iot middleware so service cloud and actor you can see it's written here service cloud and actor it's written here so when we talk about this service so gcn and hydra is their cloud so simply google fit zivli and perimupu is there and the actor is simply like this kelvin node red so there are like simply different uh, parameters uh, applicable to that but yes when we talk about the like uh, mqtt so i would like to discuss more about this protocol because this is very important even very detailed uh, discussion we will be doing on to it afterwards i have kept here one like this image you can see on the bigger portion you can take a look at it So these things like cloud google fit you all must be using in your mobile applications for the uh, like uh, you know it asks to synchronize your uh, application with the google fit and then whenever you want to use any other app so if you are just using that google fit so it will be uh, if you are using any other application also it will be able to track your data same app or other app simply acha i was about to talk uh, about to talk about the mqtt so here you can see i have kept a com uh, comparative study between the mqtt and coap we will be doing it in very detail afterwards also but right now just a brief intro of it so mqtt message queuing telemetry transport it is is a messaging protocol simply as the name implies it is a messaging protocol that's used for the machine to machine communication especially in the iot that is the internet of things it is mainly used for iot and it's a lightweight publish subscribe protocol that simply designed for a devices with limited resources such as low power cpu ram so whatever projects we will be doing if we are using mqtt then you will be able to work with the low power devices like it's not required that, okay my system should have this much uh, graphics this much uh, ram that's all not a requirement in the mqtt or uh, limited resources limited network limited bandwidth or higher latency if there then it is good if higher it is present then it is fine if lower latency lower network no lower bandwidth bandwidth then also it will work so mqtt is easy to implement and can efficiently transmit data between the devices to the cloud and vice versa mqtt was originally developed to, in the early 1990 okay it was developed in 1990 so the mqtt messages are made up of fixed header variable header and payloads these are some features of it we will talk about that in more detail after some maybe one session when i will be mainly focusing on these two then if i talk about the coop that is coap protocol so that is constraint application protocol it's a web transfer protocol that's designed to work with the constraint networks constraint network here this also can be used with a constraint network and devices such as those used in the internet of net, internet of things so coop is a lightweight and efficient uh, like uh, and it use the udp that is the user data gram protocol data gram protocol we will be also discussing some tcp ip and uh, all those things related to network because that is also necessary cloud related stuff is also necessary so those things will be also covered in the upcoming sessions mm -hmm.